Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create a SAML single sign-on authentication process between Caspio, which in this case is the service provider, and Okta, which is the identity provider or IDP. The process is simple. When a user tries to log into a Caspio application, Caspio is going to delegate the authentication then to Okta. If Okta validates the user against its own database, meaning it finds this user inside Okta, it'll send the confirmation back to Caspio to give the user access to the application. So this username has to exist in both the Caspio table and Okta. Let's see how this is done. Inside Caspio, you're going to need to have a user table. I called my table Okta underscore user table. Let me click on design so that you can view my fields. The most important field that this table needs to have is a username. I called it Okta user, that's my naming convention. You can name it whatever you want. I set that to text 255 and I flag this field as a unique field. You can include any other field that you would like to have inside a user table, it's completely up to you. The next step is to set up the authentication. So we go to this object here, we click new. For your data source, make sure you select that table, Okta user table. Go with custom and then SAML single sign on. From here, scroll down a little bit and go ahead and expand the section for service provider setup. We're going to have to provide some information to Okta to generate the certificate. And once we provide this information to our Okta account, they're going to provide us with that certificate. And later on, you're going to see how I paste that certificate inside this text area. So let me go inside my Okta account. And once you log inside your Okta account, the first thing that you need to do is set up a brand new application. So create a new app. Make sure you select the radio button for SAML 2.0. Click on create. Give your application a name. For now, let's just create something very simple here. Let's call this Okta Caspio integration. You can also provide additional info here if you'd like. I'm going to skip that step. Hit next. And now we need to grab some information from Caspio and populate that information inside this field and also for the entity ID. So let me go back to Caspio. The first thing that I'm going to do is grab this URL here, which is the third one down the list, copy it, go back to Okta, and paste that inside a single sign-on URL. So that's where the very first link goes. Next thing we need to grab is the entity ID. So once again, go back to Caspio. Grab the link for entity ID, copy it, back inside Okta, and paste that link inside the field. You can include other information here on this screen if you wish. I'm going to scroll all the way down. I don't need to plug in any more data here. I'm going to hit Next. On this screen, I'm going to select the second radio button because I'd like to integrate my app with Okta. Click Finish. And as soon as you finish, now you can view your setup instructions. Click on this button here. And this is the information that we we'll now need to copy and paste back into Caspio. So copy the single sign-on URL that's generated by Okta. So let's copy that back inside Caspio. That's going to go inside the second field right over here. And now I just need to grab the provider ID. So back inside Okta again, grab the second link. Copy it, paste that at the very top, and finally we need to paste our certificate. So just click on this radio button, go back to Okta once again, and here's the certificate. We just need to copy this long text, back to Caspio, paste it, and at the very end just click on create, and let's give this a name. I'm going to call this Okta. And when done, click finish. So now what I need to do is go back to Okta and add some users inside my account. So let's go back here, click under Assignments, and let me go ahead and just assign myself as one of the user, Assign to People. I'll select myself, click on Assign, Save and go back, and click on Done. And now you can see how I've been added as a user inside Okta. Of course, you can add additional users that belong to your organization and all of those users are gonna be able to log into Caspio applications as well. The last thing that we need to do is go back into the Caspio table because I need to have the same exact user exist in both places, not just in Okta, but also in Caspio as well. 
So back inside my table, click on open. And I need to add a prefix here for the user to be correct. So I need to add SAML colon. Let me just expand this. And since I'm using my email address, let's go ahead and write that down. And then you can include all the other information pertaining to your end users. When done, just go ahead and exit the table. And let's go ahead and test this out. For my data pages, I have a very simple report created that allows me to look at libraries. All I'm going to do is click on Edit. Hit Next, apply my authentication, the one that we just created. Click on Finish. Let's grab the deploy link, enable deployment status, grab the URL, copy it. Let me open up a new browser window, paste my text, and now it's going to ask me to log in. It's going to redirect me over to Okta, where I have to input my credentials. So let's go ahead and do that. And as soon as I log in, it redirects back to Caspio, and now I can view that data page via that URL. Hopefully you enjoyed the video tutorial. This is how you can use SAML for single sign-on. So if your company is using an Active Directory, you can connect that to the Caspio application so they communicate back and forth from the service provider to the IDP. And then your end users can successfully log into Caspio applications, which eliminates the need for having additional passwords and credentials stored in two different places. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And if you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.